Hello, it's Mighty Borg here back. Well, this is a preview of new features in 3, 4, pre release 5. I think 3.4 will come really soon, but anyway, let's see what this new version does. Here are new gates. Let's say this is a special redstone repeater. Straight. It's a little cheap as you can see and well it wor works just like a ordinary repeater, let's say. It has one tick delay which is um, faster than the ordinary repeater you can get here. This one I think it's uh, it's faster. Let's see. Yeah, it's a bit faster. Well, that's not the only new thing. Here we have. Oh, we the recipe wrong. Oh, right, that's it. One tick corner repeater. It's really mm, amazing if you want to do some compact things I will take some redstone and let's say you have two wires here you can place this well and now you want for example have another wire here you see it connects but that's only the visual thing it does not really connect I put a lever here oh shit you see it isn't affected by the other circuit well as you you have seen if yeah, I right click this one it changes the arrow to the other side it's pretty easy to configure and it's really fun to use well the next new thing in this release is an improved end and or gates. Let's take some of them and one programmable gate. Well, maybe you sometimes, oh, I will get some light, some torches. Ocean, ah, here. Let's say you want to connect two signals. You see this is the the output signal. I will get some indicator so it looks fancier. Green one. Yeah. And here it goes another wire which wants to or with this one but you don't want is to happen. This one's be separate. So here I place one junction. See, oh, it's the redstone crossing. Here we want what it was, or gate, right? Put it here and right click it. You see it changes the input, but it's pretty clear what gate it is. Right now we get the corner piece put it here and I think it will work just right and if signal goes here it will go to the green and there see it goes here under it and here it ors with this one and go to the green one it's really useful I will show you later what it's good for well here is uh, one 
think I used to test these new repeaters. Well, watch this. It looks like the Pipe Mania game. You see, it looks like some sort of snake. Well, it's really expensive to build something like this in survival, but well, it's fun. Let's move to another testing site. Well, this is a mm, some structure. You see this circle? It's end gate. If I take end gate, oh, yeah, place it here. It works just like the OR gate, and it's really good for some compact things. Here this circuit works. But it doesn't really do anything useful. Well, this is the block repeater. I think we have some bug here at the moment, but I will fix it quickly. Well, maybe you already mm, seen this. Well, it's not really good to do this in creative, but well, it works too, but you can't have the height. You see the block appears there. Well, well, it's nearly morning, so let's quickly test this one. This is a very complex circuit, and here we have a seven segment display. See, it looks like some calculator one. Oh, it rains again. Well, here are the levers. Let's say I want three. And you see, it's three. Well, where it was here. Let's go for zero. Nine, eight, seven. See, it's really a complex thing, and I think it could be done better, but it works. Well, here is one another thing. This is the control panel for the display. It's left up, left down, right up, right down. Let's say I want a letter A. Right up, oh, left down, left up, up and middle. Now let's say. Now let's look at this from closer. Well, Mm, I built this before I created the new kinds of gates, so it uses the programmable gates, but it's back or left, that's not really mm, anything complicated, so I can simply put OR here, well, it works equally right, well, yeah, that's it. I think it will work again. Yeah, it works. Let's turn this off. Now let's move to another thing. This is, I played a bit with. You see, this was the vanilla repeaters. It's just for fun. It's a special kind of automatic bridge. I stand here and the bridge opens and now if I run I can manage to run over it. It's you see it's pretty noisy but looks effective. Ah I can't do this. Yeah oh I fell into lava if it was lava. Well I think I didn't show it how to use 
Hmm. Ledges and stairs. So let's do it really quickly. I don't have much time in this video. We'll need some iron. Well, this is new feature. If you hold left control key, you get 64 stacks. Only if the cheat is active. Well, let's craft some of them. This is the ledge. 16 pieces and this should be the stairs. Oh, this. Well, well there must be some. Yet another bug. Oh. I don't know how this works. Maybe it was the ledges. No. Well, maybe the recipe is wrong, but we can cheat it. Let's take some stairs. And, well, now I want a staircase to this cactus, so I put stairs. I must click on the top side. Well, it will under uh, stairs on top. Oh, it fell off. Now I can build forward by right, just clicking the top surface. Well, it's you can sit here on the cactus if you want. You see, it connects the fences are quite smart. You see, it appeared just as I destroy the cactus it to prevent falling down to the hole if I hold control while, while placing stairs it goes down see okay. it's r really good for some factory holes or mm, huge mines or something like that See, it looks uh, nearly realistic and it's pretty useful. Well, that was the stairs, now the iron blocks. Let's take some iron blocks. Well, this is new, you can... Oh, this is probably some bug, but if you put torch there, it shows as if it was full. You can also put it on top. Uh, it's pretty fancy. You see the hole here. And the important thing about this is that you can attach some ladders to these. Actually, place it here. Now let's put some. Ha. Ha. Let's go here. And you see this is to prevent falling off you go down the ladder and maybe it's not clear but you can place all kinds of things on top of this you can take rails and it will work like like if it was a ground well now let's show the programmable gate we don't have really much time well, place it here. Oh, it's another night. Cool. Lever. Input and output. This is signal light. Well, as you can see, mm, it has really many options here. Like this or nor. Or if you click this, it will place the function left is L, back, back, B, right, R. Here are these brackets. This is for strings, plus, mm, multiplication, minus, power, it's modulo, space, comma, some comparisons, or, and, not. Well, it can work with strings. Let's show some easy thing. Left plus, bus, left plus, back plus, right. And check if it's better or or higher or equal to two. You see the syntax highlighting. It's a new feature coded by Xor19. It's one of the team. You see functions are red, numbers yellow, but this can change. 
if two of them are on, output will be on. Oh shit. It works. Let's do even left comma back comma right and this will count count the parity. If even number of inputs is on, output is on. Well, I think it's pretty easy to use. Well now let's test another thing. I didn't try this before. Trill byte. This will now be called byte instead of trill byte, it was just a joke. So check if it equals to three. I didn't test this function yet, so it might not work. Oh, but it works indeed. It builds a byte of these three and makes it into a number. Well, I think that's all for now and thanks for watching and good luck with these new gates.